Amen. Turn with me to Hebrews 11 and 1. Very familiar scripture. Everybody live by faith? Amen. Amen. Hebrews 11. We're going to start there. Hebrews 11 and 1. Amen. True to God is good. Amen. 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 Does everybody have that? I still see some pages turning. I see some scrolling. Amen. Amen. I need y'all to talk back to me. Amen. Amen. All these Bible scholars we got in here. Amen. Ain't that right, Missionary Gilbert? Yes. Amen. My God. Missionary Gilbert, my friend. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Amen. If you have it, have it and read. Now my faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Ah, so now we see that faith is the evidence of things hoped for. And I'm going to keep it down. Amen. Uh, substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Now, in your own words, in your own words, amen. Somebody tell me what faith is, amen, in your own words. We know what Hebrews 11 and 1 says. Amen. And we, we know what the Bible says, but in your own words, if you had to put in your own words, how would you describe faith? If you had to put in your own words, yes. About, Come on, speak up. I yeah. think it was about uh, about five years ago. Uh-huh. Uh, I just come from a little longer than that. Like, I just come from Cleveland and uh, got employed with the Walmart. Who got a poor Walmart? Okay. Got into some mess and got dismissed from, uh, from Walmart. Okay. Uh huh. Man, what to do? What to do? What to do? All right. So I called back uh -huh. the company that I was with in Cleveland before I came here to go back to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. and he said, "Well, we don't have a lot going, but I tell you what, if you come back, we we'll put you to work. So what to do? What to do? What to do? So now nah, you know." God would have me win and win right here. You know, I ain't got to go back to, to Cleveland to find employment mm -hmm. to, to survive. I'm going to win and I'm going to win right here. Right here. And, right. It, you know, lo and behold, here I am, the county, the, 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 and, and doing just what I, stu I stepped out on faith. Amen. It, it, it would come to pass. It would have, it would have, I, don't, I didn't know where I was going to do it, how I was going to do it, what road I was going to take. Mm -hmm. But I just believe Right here. Just believe in God. Yeah, right here. Amen. Put your faith in God. Amen. And God will do that for you. Amen. Anybody else? What is faith to you? What is faith to you? Missionary Bar. Trusting in God regardless of what your eyes may see, regardless of your circumstances. Ah. Trusting in God regardless of what you see and your circumstances. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to come behind that? Amen. We're talking about faith. Amen. My God. Yes. Confidence. That word inside, the, the word of God inside of you, giving you confidence to walk in faith. What is it? Oh, my God. Faith is taking God and his word. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Directing your life accordingly and leaving the results, my God, up to him. Is that right? Amen. So we've got to trust in God. Amen. Line ourselves up accordingly and lead the results up to who? God. We got to lead the results up to God. Is that right? Amen. We got to lead the results up to Him. Hebrews 11 and 1 said, Now faith is the substance of things we hope for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is taking God without no ifs, without no ands. Without no buts. Amen. And let God do it for you. Amen. I'm teaching. Amen. I'm teaching. Faith is taking God without any hesitation or without any reservation. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians 16 chapter in the 13th verse. Amen. Talk about faith. Amen. Everybody living by faith? Amen. Truly God is good. Amen. And that was 1 Corinthians 16 chapter. Faith. Amen. A lot of songs. Faith, faith, faith. Just a little bit of faith. Amen. That might be a before some of y'all time. Amen. That's how we open up our 
praise and worship back in the day. Amen. Faith, faith, faith. Just a little bit of faith. Mm -hmm. It don't take a whole lot. It's you what you got. Amen. That was 1 Corinthians 16. Amen. And the 13th verse. And if you have it, read. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, and be strong. Ah, my God, God is good, is that right? Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, be strong, act like men. You know, men, you know, the symbol of strength, men. Amen. You know, when you see a man, you think strong. Well, well, well. Now, now, now you see them, amen, they're under the well. tree, amen, <laughs> they, 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 they uh, pants have hanging down, amen. <laughs> ah. right. But no matter what it looks like, stand firm in the faith. Is that right? I remember a story, amen, my wife, amen, we were in Germany back in 19 something. We were in Germany, <laughs> amen. And what I saw, I saw empty cabinets. Amen. I, I saw a long night because I was getting hungry. Amen. I saw empty cabinets. But my wife saw something in the spirit. Amen. I'm teaching. Amen. But my wife saw something. Amen. So she prayed out to God. She put her faith and trust in God. I'm in the kitchen going crazy. You know, what are we going to do? You know, I'm looking at cabinet, closing it, open up again, thinking something going to pop up in there. <laughs> but she's in there praying. Amen. And a knock came at the door. My God. My God. Bags and bags of groceries. Amen. Tell me what God won't do. Amen. Bags and bags of groceries. Wow. Amen. We didn't make a call mm -hmm. to anybody, you know, to any of our friends. Amen. We didn't, um, they didn't have cell phones, or they had the big ones. Amen. But we, 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 we didn't make a call. Amen. We didn't email anybody. But my wife prayed. Amen. And a knock came at the door. What you are praying for, you about to see. Amen. Amen. What you are praying for is going to manifest itself. Wow. And I'm teaching. Amen. Right. Amen. I remember we had a, uh, a series talking about uh, spiritual warfare. Amen. So what is faith? What is faith? Substance hope for, evidence of things not seen. But faith is also a defensive weapon in spiritual warfare. Is that right? Amen. Faith is also a, 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 a defensive weapon in spiritual warfare. Turn to Ephesians 6 chapter and the 12th verse. We talk about faith. Ah, anybody love the word? Amen. Amen. My God, God is good. Amen. Keep your faith in God. Amen. Keep your trust in Him. Amen. Ephesians 6 chapter. 12th verse. Very familiar. Amen. Some of y'all can probably quote this by heart. Amen. Beginning at the 12th verse. Amen. And it reads, uh, read. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, Take the whole honor of God. God. Uh -huh. That he may be able to withstand in the evil day. Uh -huh. And having done all to stand. Uh -huh. Stay therefore, having your loins girded by the truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Uh -huh. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So we know who we're fighting against. Amen. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Is that right? Amen. So faith can also be a defensive weapon uh, as it pertains to uh, spiritual warfare. Amen? Amen? Amen. When Jesus, amen, we're going to go to Matthew 8, the 23rd chapter, I mean 8th chapter, the 23rd verse, when Jesus uh, said, let us go to the, uh, to the other side. Amen. And I'm going to show you what happened. Matthew 8 and 23. My God, God is good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> faith, faith, faith. Just a little bit of faith. Don't y'all say that. <laughs> Amen. 
and 23. 8, 23. Matthew 8, 23. And I'll read, And when he was entered into his ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, and so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Amen. And his disciples came to him and woke him up, saying, Lord, have uh, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith. Amen. So we see here that they were getting ready to go over to the other side. Amen. But what happened? A storm arose. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever had a storm in their life? Okay. Amen. Anybody ever went through certain things? Storm come out of nowhere? Amen. But if you keep your faith and trust in God, God will see you through the storm. Is that right? Okay. And you will be able to make it over to the other side. Amen. I'm reminded of that, that, that song. Amen. And, and sing it if you want. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Though the storms keep on raging in my life. All right. ah, I love that song. And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Amen. Hey, but, but, but still that hope that lies within is reassured as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore. Amen. I know some of y'all know this by heart. Amen. I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place that God has prepared. Amen. Amen. But if the storm don't cease... Ah, uh huh. And if the winds keep on blowing in my life, my soul, keep your soul anchored in the Lord. Amen. Keep your trust in God. Amen. Stay anchored in the Lord. Amen. Have faith in God, and see what happens. Amen. You feel like singing it? Amen. I kind of feel like singing it. I go get my keyboard. Amen. Y'all don't want that tonight. Y'all want to say it. Amen. But keep your faith. And trust in God and see what happens. Yeah. Amen. Don't take your eyes off of Him. Yeah. Do not take your eyes off of Him. Amen. Do not worry and don't doubt. Yeah. But keep your soul anchored in the Lord. Amen. 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 God said, Come. Talking to Peter. Amen. He told Peter to come. Amen. Come out of the boat and walk towards me on the water. Talking about faith. Amen. But what happened? What happened? Ah, my God. Something happened. Yes, yes, yes. And he focused on that. Is that right? Amen. And, and when he saw that, what happened to Peter? Why, why was he sinking? Ah, a little afraid, you know, starting to die. You know, on, on all that. Anybody ever been on a large body of water? My God, I think we got some people here afraid to fly and all that stuff. And yeah. People ain't been on cruises because they're afraid of you. Know, well, <laughs> Amen. Amen. And Peter began to do what? Peter began to sing. Is that right? And what did Peter do? Peter cried out and said, What? Ah, got some Bible scholars in here. He said, Lord, save me. Amen. Bible study, I'm teaching. Amen. He said, Lord, save me. And what did Jesus do? He reached out. Yes. Ah. Grabbed him. And what did he tell Peter? Oh, ye. Yes. Of little faith. Build up your faith in Jesus. Amen. Keep your faith in him. And stay anchored in the Lord. Amen. Matthew 7 and 20. He said to them, because of your little faith. For truly I say to you. If you have faith, the grain of a mustard seed, you can do what to this mountain? Ah. Move from here to there, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Keep your faith in God, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Amen? Amen. Look at, what, look at what Jesus said in, in Luke 17 chapter. Y'all can just write these down and just, you know, throwing a lot of scriptures at you. Amen. In Luke 17, 12 chapter, 27 through 28. Jesus said to his disciples, consider the lilies. Ah, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothed the grass, if he so clothed uh, the grass, 
uh, which is alive in the field today and thrown in the fire tomorrow, amen, what are you worried about? How much more can he clothe you? Amen. So what are you afraid of? What are you worried about? Amen. Keep your faith in Jesus. My God. Focus on God and keep your faith on him. God knows what is best for you. God knows what's best for you. He knows what you're in need of. Amen. Faith expects from God what is beyond all expectation. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Faith expects from God what is beyond all expectation. Amen. Faith in God makes all things possible. Yes. My God. Because he is able to do what? Exceedingly. Abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Yes. Keep your faith in God. Give God a hand praise. My God. Amen. Keep your faith in God. Is that right? Amen. I believe that the more you know about faith, amen, the better you can see spiritually. Amen. Yes. Amen. The more yes. you know about faith, the better you can see spiritually. Yes. I saw empty cabinets. Amen. In my stomach, you know, but I saw empty cabinets. Amen. But my wife prayed. Oh, my God. I'll never forget that. My God. But despite all that you see with your physical eyes, despite all that you see with your physical eyes, despite what's going on around you, yes. despite what people are saying, yes. despite the wind that's blowing, Despite the, the, the waves that are crashing up, up, uh, around you, keep your eyes on God. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Despite what it looks like. Yeah. Amen. The more you know about faith, the more, amen, we build up our faith, the better you can see spiritually. Ah. Is that right? Yes. Amen. The better you can see spiritually. Amen. Anybody love the word of God? Amen. amen. Because we know what? Faith coming by what? Yeah. Ah. And hearing? Faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Amen. I'm teaching. Amen. I remember a song by John P. Key. Amen. Uh, that says, by faith, through grace, I'm able to receive all that I need. My God. Amen. The blessings of the Lord belong to me. Amen. When I put my faith and trust in thee. Amen. Beautiful song. Amen. He shall supply every one of my needs. The blessings of the Lord belong to me. Ah, keep your faith in God. Keep your trust in God. And watch what God does for you immediately. Yes. Everything that you've asked for, everything that you need is in God. Amen. But keep your trust on Him. Yes. Amen. What, what, what I said what I say in the beginning? Amen. I said that faith is taking God in His Word, lining your life up accordingly, and leaving the results up to God. Yes. Amen. Don't come behind him and try to redo things and try to speed things up. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, you're taking too long. Mm -hmm. huh? I asked for this a while ago. Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. My neighbor done got that now. I got to go seek another car. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you need to hurry up. You know what? Matter of fact, I got you. I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Don't be that person. Amen. You'll be surprised yeah. what you go ahead and get. Amen. 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 You'll be surprised. I've seen new cars on the side of the road. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be careful, women, by some of these men. And with men, be careful. <clears throat> amen. Amen. But keep your keep your eyes on, on God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Uh, because with men, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Ah, are you with me? With God, all things are possible. See, the average person, amen, we, they, they tend to go by, I mean, what they see. They tend to go by what they feel. They tend, they tend to go by, amen, uh, uh, what, 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 what's around them. Amen. Amen. And, 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 um, but we're not that way. Somebody say, I'm glad I'm not average. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not average. Amen. Because our whole faith and trust is in who? God. It's in yeah. God. Amen. Amen. How many of you are glad you're just, just not average? Amen. 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 I'm a royal priesthood. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Huh? Uh, I, I'm in the world, Amen. but what? Amen. But not of the world. Amen. I'm a royal what? Priesthood. Chosen. Yes. Chosen generation. Amen. We're above. Is that right? Yes. And not beneath. Amen. Somebody said we're the head yes. and not the tail. Yes. Amen. We are what? Lenders yes. and not borrowers. Yes. Amen. Amen. So keep your faith and trust in God. Amen. Take God's word and put it in practice in your life. Amen. Try it. Just see. I'm, I'm teaching. Amen. Amen. I'm teaching. Amen. 
But take, God, take God's word and put it into practice in your life without any hesitation or rebellion. Amen. We have we ever had anybody here that used to be a knucklehead? Amen. But take God. I ain't going to raise your hand. Amen. <laughs> now you're on camera. You know, now, now you're on camera. Amen. I, mean, I should have put that disclaimer out there. Don't raise your hand. Amen. But take God's word without any hesitation and without any rebellion. Is that right? Sometimes we just rebel. Ah, God, you take it too long. Huh? My God, this 2011 ain't good enough. 2013 will be here in a minute. Huh? My God. Better wait on God. Put your faith and trust in Him. Is that right? Once you begin to live and act on faith, you will be amazed to see what God will do in you, through you, and for you. Is that right? Amen. Once you begin to live and act on faith, you will be amazed to see what God will do in you, yes. through you, and for you. Anybody ever tried him? Mm -hmm. My God, amen. How many know God is good? Yeah. Oh, my God, amen. Turn with me to Matthew 15 chapter. I'm teaching. Ah, Matthew 15 chapter. 21st through the 28th verse. Ah, my goodness. Amen. We're talking about faith. Amen. Anybody living by faith? Oh, my God. What I say? Matthew 15, chapter uh, 21st to the 28th verse. Amen. And, and, it, and it reads, And Jesus, Jesus went and departed to the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Uh-huh. Now to 28. And behold, a woman came out of the same coast. And, and cried unto him, saying, uh -huh. Have mercy on me, O Lord, uh -huh. the son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Uh -huh. Go ahead. But answered her not a word. And, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent for unto the lost sheep of my house of Israel. And then she and and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it into dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. My God. So we see here, amen, a, a type of healing faith. Amen. And, 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 and leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from the vicinity came to him and cried out, Lord. Anybody ever cried out, Lord? Yes. Ah, Lord. Ah, thy son of David. Have mercy on me. My daughter is vexed. Amen. Is demon possessed. Is suffering. And suffering terribly. Ah, my God. Watch what God does. Watch what he does. Jesus did not ask a word. Amen. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away. Get rid of her. Uh-huh. For she keeps crying out for us. Ah, my God. No matter what people say around you. No matter what people say around you. Amen. You keep your focus and trust on God. Amen. He answered, I will send only to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh-huh, that's another lesson. Uh, the women came and knelt before him. Lord, help me. Amen. She was persistent. Mm -hmm. We've got to be persistent. Mm -hmm. Ah, we can't just give up. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've got to be persistent. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toast it to the dogs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not a derogatory word. Amen. But it's the way that, that, that her people looked at in that time. Yeah. Amen. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Be persistent. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, it is, Lord. Even the dogs eat the crumbs. Mm -hmm. Just a crumb. Just a crown from that bread. Mm -hmm. Amen. I spoke on this before. Amen. The same ingredient that's in that bread is in the wood. Ah. Yeah. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. My God. Amen. I'm teaching. Anybody love the word of God? Amen. Amen. Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. My God. Your request is granted and your daughter uh, was healed at that very moment. Yes. Watch what God will do for you if you put your faith and trust in Him. Amen. Ah, my God. 
Amen. You'll be amazed to see what God will do in you, as I said before, through you, and for you. My God, my God. Matthew 21. Amen. 21 through 22. You'll have to turn there. And Jesus answered them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, y'all know the story, huh? Yes. But even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown in the sea, it will what? It will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you shall receive it. Uh, if you have what? If you have faith. Whatever you ask in prayer, you shall receive it. Is that right? My Amen. God. How many of you are living by faith? Amen. My God. Amen. We all should be living by faith. Amen. I see a lot of testimonies out there. Is that right? Yes, Amen. I see a lot of testimonies out there. Yeah. Amen. I see people that have been helped out of financial difficulties. Ah, my God. I see people that have been helped out of, out of this situation, that situation. Amen. I see people that have been healed in their body. Yeah. My God. I see people that have received callbacks from employers. Yeah. Amen. Talking about faith. Because of your faith, amen, I see people starting new jobs. Amen. amen. Because of your faith, I see stronger marriages. My amen. God. Because of your faith, I see people's lives being blessed. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because of your faith, I see amen. children graduating with honor. My God. Because of your faith, amen, I see Reba Ministry Church being built. Yes. My God. Because of your faith, my God. Amen. I see the bank calling and the land being cleared. My God. Because of your faith, my God. I see God adding to the church. Yes. And such a gift. Yeah. Amen. Because of your faith, I see us worshiping, praising God in a new building. Yeah. Because of your faith, amen. I see Ring of Ministry branching out to the whole world yeah. and in different countries. Yeah. Because of your faith. Yeah. I'm teaching. Because of your faith. Yeah. My God. Amen. Because of your faith. Anybody have faith? <laughs> My God. Uh huh. And we at Mark, amen, 10th chapter. And the 52nd verse. Ah. Uh, and Jesus said to blind Bartimaeus, mm -hmm. mm, after he healed him, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And immediately, somebody shout immediately. immediately. And immediately, amen, this is Bible study. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He recovered his sight and followed him on his way. Immediately. Anybody need some right now help? Anybody need a right now miracle? Anybody need a right now blessing? Immediately. And he was healed. Because of your faith. Watch what happens. Because of your faith. Watch what God does. Because of your faith. It shall happen. Because of your faith. Somebody shout, it is done. It is done. Oh, my God. Uh, Teaching tonight. My God. Mm. Jesus said in Mark 9, chapter, the 23rd verse, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. All things are possible to him that believe. See, we all want God to do things for us. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Anybody want some things? Amen. Amen. I know I do. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we're waiting on God to do something for us. But God is waiting to, 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 to see what you believe. He, he, he's waiting to see, to, 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 see, to see your reaction. He's waiting to see how you believe. Amen. Can you believe it? Somebody shout, yes I can. Yes, I can. Amen. Amen. If you can believe it, God will do it for you. If you can believe it. Amen. My God. What my time? Amen. Amen. If you can believe it, God will do it for you. Amen. But how much can you believe for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. We just said God is able to do it seemingly, abundantly, above all we can ask of Him. So how much can you believe for? My God, can you believe for the impossible? Can you believe for the impossible? Ah, I just read it, Mark 9, 23, Jesus said to them, If thou canst believe, all things are possible 
to them that believe. Can you believe for the impossible? Amen. God can make your impossible a possibility. He can make your impossible a possibility. Ah. In the midst of an impossible situation, what can you believe for? And we just read that, amen, amen. If, if you keep your faith in God, amen, he will do it. Amen. If you believe, amen. We saw what happened when Peter was walking on the water, amen, when he took his eyes off Jesus, huh? And in the midst of the storm, how he started to sink, God reached down and got him. Amen. But can you believe God, amen, for the impossible? Because he can make your impossible possible. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Can you believe? Amen. But when things aren't going right, can you still believe? Yeah. My God. When things aren't going right, can you believe? When nothing is in your pocket and the bill collectors are called, can you still believe? Yeah. Ah! Don't ignore the call, y'all. Right. Can you still believe? Ah, when the doctor is scratching his head and trying to figure out what's wrong. Like they'll read the book because they're doing what? They're practicing medicine. Yes. Can you still believe? Yes. Ah, my God, when you've been turned down on your fourth interview. Mm -hmm. Can you still believe? Yes. Ah, my God, when you get the bad news. Can you still believe? Yes. Somebody shout, Lord. Lord, I believe. I believe. Lord, Lord, I believe. I believe. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall yes, sir. and prayed. Yes. He turned his face to the wall and he prayed. Is that right? Yes. My God. So I tell you, I say to you now, turn away from what man is thinking. My God. Turn away from what people are saying. Turn away from what it seems like. Amen. Turn your attention to God. I'm teaching. Amen. Amen. But keep your faith and keep your trust in God. Is that right? Yes. My God. Amen. We've got to get to the point where we see nothing but God. Amen. You've got to get to the point where you see nothing but God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and focus on God. Yes. My God. Amen. And in God, you will find me. Your safe place. Yes. Somebody shout, safe. 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 In his own. In God, you will find your safe place. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Turn away from the stat distractors and attend to God. Amen. We got to get to the point where we say, Lord, I surrender. Mm -hmm. Amen. I tried everything. Everything I tried is, is spelled by the wayside. Amen. I, I made a mess of things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, I'm turning it over to you. Lord, I surrender. Yes. My God. And sometimes, that's, that's what he's waiting on. Is that right? Mm -hmm. He's sitting back letting us run around. Hey, Amen. You know, I, you know, I don't know why he's doing that. You know? When we should go to him the first time. Amen. When we, should, we should put our faith in him the first time. Yes. When we should come to put our trust in him. Is that right? Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. Walk by faith. Turn. And see God. Amen. Because we do what? We walk by what? Faith. And not by sight. Amen. Y'all give me just a few more minutes. My God. We're going to be out here. Amen. We're talking about faith. Amen. Let's look at a few people. Amen. Talk about Abraham. Amen. We see Abraham is mentioned several times in the Bible. Amen. For some of the great things that he's accomplished. Amen. It's a Bible study. Amen. We're just talking. Amen. My God. Amen. But Abraham is known as a man of faith. Is that right? Amen. Who faithfully follow God's lead. We've got to faithfully follow God's lead. Is that right? Yes. Faithful. Follow God's lead. Amen. God gave Abraham the promise that a redeemer will come through his family. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Abraham. Amen. Man of faith. Amen. Abraham, when his wife Sarah had been past childbirth and age, what did they do? Amen. He gave him a child. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Abraham had a son. Uh, Isaac was the only one. <laughs> Amen. Work it out. Is that right? Mm -hmm. God gave a child named Isaac. Don't tell me what God can't do. Amen. God can turn the impossible what? 
Uh -huh. He can make it so. Amen. God had promised Abraham descendant uh, that uh, will one day be a great nation. Mm -hmm. uh, is that right? Yes, sir. Amen. But he asked Abraham to sacrifice what? His only, His only son. Why did he do that? Test the faith. Test, test the faith? Ah. Did Abraham pass the test? Uh, yes. Would you? Yeah. Ah. Mm. Yeah. My God, don't raise your hand. <laughs> Nothing here. Don't y'all you raise your hand. Ah. God told Abraham to take Isaac to a mountain. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sacrifice him to the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Ah. Did God ever tend for uh, Abraham to kill Isaac? No. Ah. But what was he trying to do? Test his faith? Trying to test his faith. Amen. Amen. Ah. And the more you study about Abraham and Isaac, you're reminded that God is faithful if you put your trust in him. Amen. God is faithful if you put your trust in him. Amen. Amen. Let's look at Moses. Love this story. Moses was born in the Hebrew family. Is that right? Ah. But, be, but because the Jews were growing in numbers and strength, amen, the Pharaoh of Egypt ordered that all male babies be killed. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Set up. Amen. Moses was spared his faith because his mother placed him what? In a basket. Amen. We, we read a story. I saw the movie. Amen. We, we done one or the other. Amen. Placed him in a basket on the river. Is that right? Yes, sir. And what happened? Pharaoh's daughter found a basket and rescued the baby. Amen. To raise her as his own. Is that right? As her own? Amen. That before that, uh, that commercial came on. Amen. I saw the movie too. And what happened to Moses? He grew up among Pharaoh's family. Is that right? Ah, and as he grew, he learned of his own family's plight as slaves. Amen. Moses chose to renounce his family and assist his Hebrew family. Ah, paraphrasing. Amen. He was banished from the king, and God later called Moses, called him back to Egypt to do what? Ah, let my people, uh huh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To lead the Israelites from slavery. Is that right? Amen. But what happened? Moses did not see himself. As a man, God can use to take on such a task. Yes, that's right. Don't ever doubt God. Amen. Don't doubt God. Put your trust in Him. Is that right? Amen. But through faith, He led the Israelites as God desired. Is that right? Amen. My God. Amen. My God. We talk about faith. Amen. We talk about faith. Amen. And I'm not trying to. Amen. If you, if y'all got anything y'all want to add, Amen. Feel free. Amen. This is where you can, amen, put your little statements in there. Don't do that Sunday morning while the preachers are up. Amen. But if you buy your Bible study Sunday school, this is where you can put your input at. Amen. Don't get a new revelation Sunday morning. To my, you know, LOL, that, that Wednesday. Amen. And I want to add this to it. You know. Amen. So just, you know, amen. Put your, put your little feet in there. Amen. Let's look at Joshua. Amen. My God. Talk about faith. Yes. Yes. My God. Amen. After Moses led the Israelites to Egypt, amen, we talk about faith. There's a lot of, anybody ever read the Bible? Yeah. A lot of stories in there about faith. Yes, sir. Amen. My God. Amen. After Moses led the Israelites to Egypt, amen, they came up to the edge of the promised land. Ah. Moses sent 12 spies. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Ah. To figure out how to best do what? Come to the land. Ah. And they brought back news. Amen. That the land was as good as God has promised. Yeah. My God. Mm. As good as God has promised. However, some of them reported that there were what in the land? Yeah. My God. Amen. Are you living by faith? Or are you living by fear? Mm. Are you living by faith? My God. Or are you living by fear? But there were giants in the land. My God. Mm. We know that the enemy comes as what? As a word line. Amen. Amen. Seek him whom he may. My God. Amen. But there were giants in the land. Amen. And they said that they would not be both victorious in that battle. Mm. Don't stop. Don't stop short of what God has for you. Do not stop short of what God has for you. Amen. Go after it. My God, put your trust and faith, faith and trust in Him. Is that right? 
Amen. But they, they reported bad news. Amen. They had no faith in God. Who had just miraculously delivered them out of Egypt. Why? How quickly we forget. Huh? My God. Don't be like that. Amen. But there were two that trusted God. Is that right? Mm -hmm. There were two named who? Caleb. Caleb and Joshua. Somebody read the Bible. Amen. Amen. And, and, and were the only two who did what 40 years later? Survived. Went into the promised land. Is that right? The only two that went into the promised land. My God. Talk about faith. Ah. And Joshua became the leader of Israel because of his faith. He became the leader, the leader of Israel because of his faith. All right. And the people shouted when Joshua 6, chapter, amen. Something else happened too because of Joshua's faith, because he was listening to God. Is that right? He shouted with a great shout. And what happened? The, what, the walls what? Ah, the walls came down. Amen. Watch what comes down. Amen. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Amen. Watch the walls come down. Ah, watch everything just, just dissipate in front of you. Amen. But you got to trust in Him and believe. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Amen. But Joshua trusted God and His Word. Ah, and led the nation of Israel as a man of faith. Is that right? Yes. Amen. I'm teaching. Amen. My God. Amen. What time is it? Oh my God! All night, Amen. <laughs> Let's look at Gideon. Yeah. Can we can we look at Gideon? Huh? Ah, I got all night here. I'm gonna be the only one here. <laughs> Talking to this pencil. <laughs> my God, man. But after Israel inhabited the Promised Land, God sent various prophets and leaders to speak His word and to lead the people. Amen. Before they had a king, is that right? Part of this time period was narrated for us in the, in the book of Judges. Amen. Amen. Gideon was one of these judges. Amen. God called him to lead, the, uh, lead Israel into battle with the Midianites. Y'all know the story. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Look at this. Mm. Anybody get excited about the word? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. My God. Talk about what? Faith. Talk faith. about faith. My God. And the Midianite army had about 135,000. Is that right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gideon started with an army of roughly 32,000. Is that right? He started with it. However, God told Gideon, what did God tell Gideon? You got too many. Some of the people that are around you, you don't need them. Some of the people that are around y'all, you don't need them. Ah, you got too many. So Gideon went through a selection process. Is that right? Ah, he got that army down to how many? 300. All the way down. Final wave. How many? 300. 300. All right. Now. Now. He trusted God to prove his promise. Uh, because God said you need a smaller army. Now hold up. 135,000. And you got me down to, to, to how many? To 300? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Not, not happening. Okay, because in our physical sense, in our natural sense, we see that as, as, as what we used to call a mixed match. Is that right? Yeah. Something wrong with that picture, as y'all used to say. <laughs> Something wrong with this picture. My God, outnumbered. Amen. We are outnumbered. 300. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Ah. To them that believe. Oh, my God. I'm going to go get my keyboard. Uh, play and preach. My God, run around my keyboard. Ah, uh, but the night of the battle. Amen. Uh, amen. Two, 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 give me six, seven minutes. All right. All right. But the night of the battle. Gideon and his servants. They, they went into the camp of the midnight. Amen. And overheard them telling the dream. Is that right? Ah, uh, the, uh, the two midnight. Amen. Interpret the dream. That means that God's army will wipe out mm -hmm. the larger army. Mm -hmm. is, is that too hard for God? Mm -hmm. What 
you're going through is not too hard for God. There's nothing too hard for God. Is that right? Ah. So with this assurance, Gideon returned uh, to his camp and said, prepare for that. Some of y'all need to prepare for that. Ah. My God. And during the battle, when the fighting started, amen, the Midianites were the ones afraid. My God. Hmm. Is there anything too hard for God? Mm. Nothing is too hard for God. Amen. Keep your faith and trust in Him. Is that right? Amen. Yes. Ah, the Midianites were so scared that many of them started fighting. And, and killing one another. Is that right? Is there anything too hard for God? Ah. And Gideon's army was, was, was all around them. 300. My God. Anybody want to question that? If y'all saw that? Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. Amen. Give God a hand for us. I have all night, preacher. Amen. I don't have all night. Amen. My God. Amen. But we'll, we'll finish this later. Amen. We talk about faith. We're standing. Amen. We're standing. Give God a hand. Praise one more time. Faith. My God.